Today, I'm going to show you a very low density project located at Georgetown, Pulau Tikus. Total units is only 84 and per level only have 4 units. So, let's go! Here, at the elevator, only the access cards to your particular unit and the top floor will be 27. Coming up from the elevator, this part completely belongs to your, so I will call it a private four years. On my right, it's where you can dispose your waste. Alright. Alright, so over here, at the alley, at the back alley, you can dispose your waste at the back over there. Okay, so there will be mates up here to collect every day so let's take a look at the condition inside right here because this is completely belongs to yours and nobody can access basically i've seen some people converted it to become an office space living space so up to you <coughs> and then over here you have your shoe racks so up to you as well if you want to expand it on my right this one will be another entrance to the wet kitchen so later i'll come up from the inside. So let's take a look at the inside. There's a total of four layouts and this one that I'm going to show you will be 2,228. Will be four plus one bedrooms. So on my right here, you have a small utility room and a powder room, which I like it very much because if you have any guests, Friends, they don't have to go into your bedrooms to access to the washroom. So now take a look at the balcony. So from my naked eye, I can roughly measure the balcony is about 30 feet long. The view will be Gurney Drive and the sea view. So most of the three types A, B and C will be facing exactly like this. Let's take a look at the inside. So on my left here, for sure, will be your dining space, right hand side, living space. So what I like about Moment Rice is that it has a separate dry kitchen and a wet kitchen. So everything you see here, kitchen cabinets are all given wood and hob. And then on my right, is what I say, the 4 plus 1. It will be your utility room or be your main room. So up to your creativity. On my left here, will be the main bathroom. Okay, so this is the part, where just now I say another entrance or access. So right now, we're going to take a look at the four bedrooms. Let's go. Okay, so over here, the four bedrooms will be central at here. So on my left, both of the bedrooms will be looking at the Gurney Drive view, sea view. I eat down view, alright. So basically, all four bedrooms will have your own view and attached bathroom. Okay. So coming here at the end, two bedrooms. Let's take a look at the inside. So here, every bedroom is also fitted with a walk-in wardrobe, and here give you three full full height windows over here so where you can see uh, also see view right here and also Gurney Paragons, Gurney Plaza's view
come up to the opposite. Every layout master bathroom also comes with a bathtub, so where you can enjoy a very nice view over here. So over here, master bedroom, of course you will enjoy most of the view over here. Okay. Same as the balcony, you have the drive, sea view. All right. So now let's take a look at the next layout, would be a type B, let's go. So right now, we are at the type B, 1851 square feet. So it is the similar to the last layout. This part will be your private foyer. And now we're gonna go in to take a look at the bedrooms. What's the difference, all right? Okay, so the first difference is that compared to the last layout, it only have a one main entrance right here. And then coming into the unit, on my left hand side, similar, you have a storeroom, utility room over here, and then a powder room, plus one. So this layout comes with a three plus one bedroom as well. So I'm gonna show you what's the view like at outside. So similar to the layout just now, same view, morning sun, you have the sea view, gurney drive view, and then, yeah, the new Paragon and all those. So one thing is, you won't have any new building built exactly at the front anymore blocking your view. So you have some city view and the sea view, that's it. And we're gonna take a look at it inside. So what I like about this layout is that the master bedroom and the other two bedrooms, they are separated so that you know, more privacy, it doesn't affect your ass life. All right. So we're gonna take a look at the master bedroom first. So come in over here, you have an L-shaped fitting wardrobe, and like I said just now, every master bedroom, the bathrooms, all come with the bathtub over here. In here, you can, I think you can put in the king size, no problem. Okay, and then you can have very full height windows over here, enjoying the same view as the balcony. So, over here, left hand side, living space, right hand side, dining area. Similar to just now, dry kitchen, wet kitchen, they are separated. But of course, because it's 1,008 square feet, and then the kitchen will be slightly smaller, but it doesn't affect you at all. And then come in deeply, you can see the plus one, three plus one, will be the utility room or the mid rooms over here. And then at the opposite, you will have the washroom. We are now at the opposite side, two bedrooms over here. The second bedroom share the same view with the master bedroom as well, so you can see. This is the third bedroom, also with a fitting wardrobe. Three bedrooms with your own bathroom. So right now, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the facility floors and then we end with another two layout. Let's go. So right now, we are at the facility floor, level six. And then you can see we have a 31 meter long of the infinity pool and then we have the gym rooms over here as well and the gym room according to the developers it is all branded and imported brand
Maintenance fee will be around 35 cent per square feet. So the cheapest unit will be around 630 per month. We also cover barbecue area, children playground, and etc. So let's take a look at the final two units. Right now we are at Type C, which is the smallest unit, 1,787. So same as the previous one, will be three plus one bedroom. So come in, we have a powder room over here. The storeroom will be relocated. I'll show you later. And then here, different from the just now layout, this will not be the master bedroom. You can put it a single bedroom, or you can put it as a guest room. So up to you. Alright, so we take a look at the balcony side. Let's go. Type A, B, C. Looking at the same view, Gurney Drive view, the DRB, the future, Andaman Island, sea view. Yep. And also Type C, also a corner unit where you can see the Comtas view as well. Ding, ding, ding. Alright, so now let's move inside. Inside here, living area, dining space, dry kitchen, wet kitchen. So because this is the smallest unit, so the kitchen part, the wet kitchen, will be the smallest among the all four units. Have the plus one here, made room, utility room, and also the washroom itself. So now let's take a look at the master bedroom. The utility room located back here and then on my right will be the master bedroom right. full height windows over here okay where you can enjoy the same room it's the same view as the previous layout so l-shaped fit in wardrobe over here l-shaped and then every master bedroom comes with a bathtub so you can enjoy every scene every morning, every timing when you are bathing. So right now I'm gonna show you the last layout type D. So let's go. So here we are finally at the last layout type D1819. So you can find, you can sense that just the moment I come up, it is brighter than the other three units. Why? Because this is the full height window over here and you have the natural light come in. So you can see IE Tang, Kek Loxi Temple over here. Okay, so let's go to the unit inside. Coming in on my left, same like just now, utility room and the powder room. On my right, I'm going to show you the bedroom first because it is closer over here. Come in over here. This one, these two bedrooms, I think it is bigger than uh, just, now, just now a few layoffs as the previous one. And yeah, full height windows over here. And you can see the Aida Hill View, City View over here, and also attached bathrooms over here so now let's take a look at the opposite bedroom okay so this is the opposite bedroom only these two bedrooms were facing each other for the main door and the attached bathroom over here same view as just now the bedroom you will see the hill view city view and also i think yeah just the city and i i eat up the Keloxi Temple and let's take a look at the kitchen part similar to the just now one uh, dry kitchen wet kitchen inside but it's bigger than just now the previous layout so the 3 plus 1 the plus 1 also located at the back here plus 1 utility room make room Also, the bathrooms over here. Alright, so now this, let's 
take a look at the living and then the master bedroom. The living room is different than the other three layouts here because it is a long shape rather than a square shape. Most importantly, I Tam Hill View Cap Oxy Temple. So you can pray every day if you are a Buddhist. So yep, let's take a look at the balcony side. Come out from the living room. This is the balcony. You can you will always feel the a windy uh, feelings. Similar thing is that all four layouts you will you will consistently feel the wind. Okay, and then this is the special part. Difference than the other three layouts is that the master bedroom is attached with the balcony. You can walk up here. All right. So let's come in. Master bedroom is kind of bigger than the previous layout, of course, and then squarish, easy to design. And now for the inside will be this one, your wardrobe fitted in as well. And then like I mentioned just now, every master bathroom with a bathtub over here. Quick summary, uh, basically I can say type A, B, C, they are living room is kind of similar, only the type D in the long shape. And then every layout, the master bedroom come with a bathtub. Also the unit itself come with fittings, you know, like the kitchen cabinet, island, hood and hot, washing machine, dryer, and etc. Uh, yeah, fit in wardrobe. Basically people who buy this project is yeah, for their own usage, holiday home, you know, yeah, for some upgrading as well. And then others who are uh, who really prefer those low density privacy security because each level is only about four units and you have your own private lift private four years the rental rate here is kind of stable and high as well minimum rental around seven thousand per month up to ten thousand per month yeah so foreigner will have a different pricing because developer will free all the legal fees state levy uh, all those same beauty so if you are interested you can text me i can show you the price later what i like about this project is the low density uh, privacy security as you can see every single access you're gonna get an access card and only to your specific level to your units only and it's kind of peaceful quiet and very very convenient environment here with uh, within walking distance you can go to the wet market you can access the food supplies literally everything and it is very close distance to the Gurney plaza Gurney paragon as well so one more thing i like is the car park design uh, you can see the road is kind of wide and the flooring everything is i think i it is safe to see it is safe to conclude that it is um, better than certain shopping malls as well and then the bad side i think uh, kind of expensive because uh, per square feet is around 1,300 here yeah. you might be asking me why the, there's still unit left over for this project is because it is not this direct seafront project so you know whenever people come to Penang spend 1 million, 2 million, 3 million they want something directly facing the seas only the minority they don't mind about it so yeah so you can see Gurney Drive a sea view but blocked by some buildings so yeah not entirely fully sea view but in contrast this is not a reclaimed land project no this is not a reclaimed so there's also some traffic noise you can sense but it is not really that annoying just some minor minor voice around but once you close the door, I can guarantee you there's no other disturbance at all. I think that's all for today. If you are interested at Moment Rise, feel free to drop me a text or a call and you can take a look at it. And if you like this video, help me to click the like button, subscribe and share it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you one of the most expensive projects in Gurney Drive where it is about 1,700 per square feet. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>